So in this lesson, we're going to continue with our script um, and make our uh, sphere start to move. So, so you should have the walls in now. You should have also created a empty game object here, named it walls, and then dragged in all of your walls or simply when you were here, when you create a um, 3D object, make sure you already clicked on that empty game object and it'll put it there. Make sure you've named everything walls too. And remember, these were not moved. You just used um, the transforms to move them. So in this case, both these are transformed. They're, they're uh, rotated 90 degrees from these two. And the only thing that changes is uh, they're 20 distance apart. So this one, Here is 10, and this one here is negative 10. These are not rotated. They're formed in the uh, correct direction. So this one is just negative 10 over on the left and positive 10 on the right. And they're all the same size. Anyway, so you should have created a new script, um, and you should have also created a new folder. So right-click, Create, Folder, and name it Scripts. And then you open it, and that's where you create your scripts. OK, so we're using, we're just starting off with the uh, player, um, player script. So we created, and remember, you have to type this in. If you have not put the input system in yet, you're probably going to get an error message. So that means on your player, after you've gone to the package manager and installed the input system, you're going to come down here and add component and um, player input right there. So it'll put it right inside here. We're not really doing anything with it yet, but we will. So, and um, make sure it's in, in with your player there. Okay, so now we're going with our script. So we've created some variables here. Um, before void start, and of course you're gonna type this and you have to manually type it in. And then when the game starts, we're going to go ahead and get a hold of that rigid body. We're going to get it and store it. We need the physics on the body, so we're going to go ahead and grab it. We're going to get the component for it. And now we're creating a, uh, a new function. So I don't think we even, yeah, we changed void update. So this is before void update. Um, you're going to go ahead and type void, the name of the function, and then we're going to have what we're doing with it. So we're going to go ahead and get some movement. Um, values which we've created up here so um, void remember we create a function you have uh, the name the uh, parentheses and then two curly brackets so we're going to go ahead and uh, get the vector to movement we're going to convert that in. when we push the uh, WASD or the arrow keys we're going to go ahead and get the uh, value for that which is uh, either left right or forwards and backwards and remember it's vector 2 uh, we're, only, we're not going up, uh, up and uh, down. We're just going uh, left and right, forwards and backwards, so we're not using the third vector. And then we're going to go ahead and get our uh, variables we came up here and um, show what they equal. So they're going to be moving uh, on the x value, and this is moving on the y, um, which is our 2D game course, for, forwards and backwards. OK, so. Um, and then when we come down here, we're going to make this, instead of a void update, we're going to put fixed update, which is a um, call for every frame. It's a bit more accurate if you're going to be moving um, an object. So fixed update should be more accurate than void update. And we're going to go ahead and get our movement. So now we're doing vector 3 movement. Um, we're going to move left and right. And we're going to move forwards and backwards. Um, and, the, and of course, we're not going to move on the Y. So the Y is 0 there. And rather than use transform.translate, we're using the RB at force, uh, which, of course, is our rigid body, right? Rigid body. That's the variable we have. And we can find it up here. And um, we're going, when we push one of these uh, WASD or the arrow keys, we're going to add a force to our um, rigid body on our player, and it's going to move left and right or forwards and backwards. And we want to control that, 
So we create, we've done this a bunch of times, so, you know, we've created a variable so that we can control the speed with which the player moves without having to go back. So you have that on your player, and the beauty of this, since we're not using transform.translate, is that when we move, we no longer go through the wall. And I think we're going to hit our... Uh, Our cube too. Yeah, we hit it. So good. We don't have to worry about the uh, going through things like we did when we used transform.translate. So remember, and then save a scene. Well, save as in your scenes folder, and I'll put down ball move two. Yeah, just ball move one. Always save a scene when you do something, and get on that. Okay, so we should have the game set up. We're going to add some colors and lights and stuff to it, too. And our, um, we're going to have some cubes in here that are going to be rotating that we'll be collecting. So, you know, we can fool around with that. Anyway, but get that script done, save it, put it on your player, and let's see if it runs.